Hello, my name's Daniel, and this is the uh, third of the biowax that I got from a friend that I'm cutting open. And this one's a melanistic type of uh, Verona Salvator. I would have called it Verona Salvator Togianus, but it was sold as Verona Salvator Ziegleri, and it's supposed to come from Saram. You can never tell. It doesn't have the preanal pores that the first two biowax that we cut open had and it's got some very savage bites on it that have been caused by a female biowack. So there have been millions of monitor lizards in captivity and I was very surprised that I couldn't find any uh, instructional tutorial videos on dissecting them on the internet. So we're not really dissecting this, we're more kind of hacking it open to see what's inside. So first we measured the snout bent length, that was 34 centimeters. Then we measured the tail base, that's 23 centimeters. No, it isn't. No, the tail was 23 centimeters. It's a bit of a stump. And then the tail base, which is 11 centimeters. And we weighed it, weighed 716 grams. Then we cut it open first with a knife to make a little hole, then a pair of scissors, taking care not to damage any of the organs. And then after that, basically what we're doing is stretching it out and cutting away at the membranes so that we can take the organs out and the fat bodies come out first. They're much bigger in these capsids than anything I've seen in wild animals. Wild animals tend to have small amounts of yellow fat. These have got tons and tons of white fat in them. Um, later on in the video you can see the... Uh, no, I forgot. Yeah, so there, there's the fat you can see there. <coughs> Altogether that weighed 88 grams, so that's 12% of the lizard's weight. So then we keep cutting away at these membranes and the next thing that's going to come out is the alimentary tract and then the liver and heart all combined. I put that bit in a separate video and ran it normal speed with the original commentary because it, it's a bit more complicated than the rest. At the end you can see um, near the pelvis you'll see the kidneys and the um, small testes, immature testes, and then right at the end I've skinned it so you can see the hemipenes and you can compare those to the ones in the second biowack, which are much narrower. Much narrower. Um, I don't say really. I mean, I'm not particularly good at cutting lizards open, I'm not good at it at all, I've cut it more this week than I've in the last 10 years, but it doesn't matter that I'm not good at it because it's very straightforward, anyone can do it. And really, if you've been buying wild monitor lizards and having them, you know, caught in the wild and shipped over to your country for your own entertainment and they've died, you've really got a moral responsibility to document the condition they were in when they died. You could take it to a professional and have it autopsied, or you could do it this way. What I've done in this bit is just cut away at the tail base a bit so you can see the uh, hemipenis there. Right. So if you can't do it, you can freeze the animal or get somebody else to do it, but just don't waste it. 